Hey guys, take a look at the video. If you guys in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get iOS 17 if it's not showing up on your iPhone. As you can see here, iOS 17 was just released today and it should show up on your iPhone just like this one, but you might be getting this one where I was still on iOS 16.6 or some older version of it. And if you want iOS 17, you're going to want to follow these steps. And by the end of the video, hopefully you get iOS 17 available on your iPhone. So let's get started. So when you're ever having this issue, a couple things first you want to check is that the update is available for your time and region. So iOS 17 was just released, but for a different region, there's a specific time that they're being released at. So different countries of the region can different uh, have a different time. So for us, I had it at 1 p.m. where I was able to get it. But what you want to do is simply just go to Google and and just search up iOS 17 and then release time date and time for whatever region that you're in if you're in like any of these countries and it will show you the zone as well if you go to there's a bunch of website that releases that data so look for that so you have to be patient pretty much to get your time because that's when it will be available for your region now after you have that check that the next thing to going to ensure that iOS 17 is compatible with your device and what I mean by that is iOS 17 isn't available on all iPhones so it's going to be only available from iPhone SE second generation or later iPhone 10 or iPhone 10s max and iphone 10s and everything above that that's a new or so first that uh, you have to verify that iphone 10 as you know in the list is not available so anything older than iphone 10 will not get ios 17 so compatibility check that out now next thing you want to do in terms of troubleshooting is just a quick a simple refresh of your network in order to do that you're going to pull down the control menu here put your phone on airplane mode briefly and turn it back on just like that and it does a quick network refresh to things like connecting to the internet and your cellular data as well then you're going to go into your settings again go to general software update and hopefully you'll be able to see the software update available now for you on your iPhone now other thing you can do is that under uh, this option there's automatic updates if you have these turned off I would recommend turning all three of them on just so see if that helps you get the update if you know it's time for you to update so turn these on you can always come back and turn it off and then go back and see if iOS 17 comes off for you on your iPhone now if it's still not showing up on it the next thing you want to check in your settings is going to be in your settings you're going to go to general and this time you're going to go to your date and time under date and time you want to verify that you're in the correct region and then that time is correct to wherever your local time is and if it's not correct you can manually set it or you can turn on automatic automatically is the most preferred but sometimes if you're traveling it doesn't pick up the right time zone and date you want to correct those and that will help you get your update for your region now the other thing you want to check after that is that your phone has enough storage for it to download ios 17 because if you notice here if we go into our settings general software update you'll notice ios 17 requires a little over six gig and for some phone it requires a little bit more some little less but i recommend at least having 10 gigs or more available on your iphone and you can check how much storage you have available by going to your settings of your iphone and then you're going to general and then go to iphone storage here it will show you how much storage you have available here as you can see here i'm using up 20 gigs out of 128 gig that means i have over 108 gig available but let's say you are maxed out on your storage you need to start deleting things usually i like to delete like bigger longer videos they take up a lot of space any photos apps that you don't use anymore so that you can clear up some space to be able to download ios 17 so check that your phone has enough storage available for you to even download the update now after you have done that the next thing you want to do is that if you have a beta profile now this is if you're using the beta version of it you need to remove the beta version of it by going into your settings here and then general and then your beta version should show up here if you do have it and then you want to remove that beta version of it on off your iphone really important to do that if you have any other the next thing you want to check is that if you have any bpn or device uh, bpn turned on you need to turn off the bpn and try it sometimes the bpn itself blocks 
you know these important updates as well so you want to ensure that bpn is turned off and then retry again now after you have done that the next thing you want to do if you're still not getting it force restarting your iphone so how can you force restart it's going to be really simple you're going to press and release the volume up press and release the volume down one after another so up and down and then finally you're going to press and hold this big side button until the screen goes completely black and then you let go of that button when you see the apple logo so it's volume up volume down and then i hold this side button just like that until uh, the screen goes completely black as you can see i'm holding it so it's shutting it down completely and then it shut down completely and then the apple logo will reappear and at that time i'll let go of that button see as you can see here now it's restarting the phone so again reloading the code so and it's going to look for to see if the update is available so it can have that option available for you to download ios 17. so give it a moment and then once you're back on your phone now this method of force restart will not delete any of your personal data so you're really good to go here you won't have any issues with any personal data getting deleted and after that if you're still not getting that ios 17 on your device let's say you're still doing this looking for it and still not coming up the next thing you want to do is go ahead and try if you're on a cellular data connect to a wi-fi wi-fi is the best way to go ahead and download any software update if you can but let's say you know even after connecting to a good strong wi-fi and you know having a strong cellular data is still not working the next thing you want to do is in your settings here go to general and then go down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. Click on the first option for reset and you want to do a network reset. So when I do a network uh, reset of the settings themselves, things like saved Wi-Fi will be deleted. Any Bluetooth connected devices will get deleted. You'll just need to reconnect those, but your personal data will not be deleted. When you do this, it's going to be really quick. It's going to say that it's just going to remove all of the network related settings. And as you can see, it's going to take about maybe a minute or two should be pretty quick and then after that I'll reconnect to my Wi-Fi here and then I do after I do that I'll check again to make sure that the update is available for it again and it might just show up for you after doing that now as you can see here it's gonna be black that's don't worry about it. as you can see here the Apple logo appeared again which is perfectly fine and we're gonna wait till we get back to the screen here now after we have done that and it's still not showing after you connect it maybe you're we're going to go ahead and go ahead and connect to you know the wi-fi that you want to connect you're going to connect to the wi-fi and let's say if you do that and it's still not showing up the other thing you want to do that's the second method of being able to download the update is using your computer to do the update itself and for some people it works that you can do the update yourself on the computer in order to do that it's going to be really simple if you have a newer macbook you don't need to download this app called itunes but if you don't have it if you have a computer like a PC or older MacBook you want to go download iTunes so iTunes is a free application from Apple which you can get from apple.com by just Google searching it and then if you click on it it'll give you the option to go ahead and either for Windows or from the Microsoft Store download the iTunes app which is free to download and once you download it you're going to want to connect it to your computer your phone using the charging cable that you use so in this case I'll connect it to the charging cable and after I do that I'm going to open up after I do that all I do is go ahead and open up finder here so here and then I'll click on under locations here and if you have iTunes it's going to be same exact setup you're going to trust the device here and then once you do trust it what you'll do is do that update again and if you have an update like iOS 16 maybe you're at 16.5 you need to update to iOS 16.6 do that update and then update it again so that you can get iOS 17 so that your latest version is 16 and then you get 17 just like that and hopefully by then you're able to get iOS 17 available on your device if so please make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time